Hi everyone, it's Julie. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to try a couple of products underneath the same foundation to see how it performs. I'm going to try on a Neutrogena product and an e.l.f. primer. Um, the Neutrogena is a sunscreen with SPF 60 and we're going to try on the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer today and see how it performs under our makeup. And then I'm gonna take you through Saint's Lip and Cheek Colors in the pink family. So I can't wait to show you all that I found. Let's get started. All right, thank you again. Okay guys, so my son is in the background playing video games, so you're probably going to hear him. Um, I wanna show you some things that I've been using. I just ran out of my Exuviance um, BB sunscreen, which was really great underneath Saint makeup. It was awesome. And I ran out of it. I just thought, you know, let me just pick up something from the store, uh, meaning Walgreens or, or Walmart, and just go with that. And I've always loved Neutrogena products, and I saw that they had a new sunscreen. It's called Ultra Sheer uh, 60 with vitamin E. It's fragrance free. It's a moisturizing face serum. Um, I used it a couple of days before today and um, I noticed I had a lot more shine and my makeup went on darker for some reason. So today I let it sit for 15 minutes, let it absorb into the skin. And I'm also going to try um, the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f., which is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk uh, Primer, which is a green gel, very similar to this. Now, I will tell you that when you put it on, it's very watery, and then it gets sticky. So right now, my face is definitely tacky, definitely sticky, but I hear that this is what helps the makeup last. So we're gonna try this. I personally have always had success just using Saint on moisturized skin. I've never had to use a primer before. I do use sunscreen daily, and again, I love the Exuviance um, BB sunscreen, which when I went online on Ulta, it was out of stock, but it said that it was available in stores. Um, I have not checked the Exuviance website to see if they have it, but I hope they're not discontinuing. So I'm going to go ahead and apply foundation um, over the stickiness of the e.l.f. Now I have allowed it to dry 15 minutes and it's still tacky. So today I'm going to go down to Sandy. I feel like I've lost a lot of my summer color. Um, the color I was using um, the last video I made was Hazel, which is one of our newer foundation colors or highlight colors as we call it in the saint world and it was a great color all of the new colors are wonderful okay so if you've never used saint before saint is a cream makeup you may be hearing things on tiktok about it containing wax yes it contains beeswax and i believe it contains other waxes as well but when you compare it to other popular brands of makeup that have cream makeup they all have wax there were only a few like maybe one or two that did not have wax in them okay and i cannot tell you what the difference would be between the formula or the texture of that product i just know that most cream makeups have wax okay and it's perfectly fine it actually wax will actually smooth out the texture of your skin and it um kind of keeps everything in the skin like moisture i notice that my skin does not get dry or flaky with this foundation it is just a beautiful makeup so i'm going to put it on i'm using the color sandy today if you look at the color it has kind of a um a yellow tone to it but it would be considered more of a um, a green or olive based cream that we sell this and June are excellent for redness in the skin and if you look at my skin you can see that there is some areas of blotchiness or discoloration compared to the even tone of my neck and you can see I definitely have some of that green olive um, undertone so let's go ahead and put this on I love to use the blush bronzer brush Okay, mine has not been cleaned in a while, so I have to do that. If you have not tried it, you need to try the brush cleaner 
from Saint and the spray formula, and you need to get the soap, which is a deeper cleaner and it smells great, it's like a spa. So I'm just gonna tap into this, and we're just gonna go ahead and start patting this over the e.l.f. primer. And I'm gonna see how the makeup performs. So that means that I'm gonna check in maybe midday, maybe at the end of the day and show you if I think that it's worth putting a primer on. But I honestly just love the makeup without anything underneath it except a sunscreen, okay? So let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm noticing that the primer really grabs onto the cream makeup. It almost looks like I have more coverage than normal. Okay, you can see that the, the redness definitely disappears. definitely feel the, um, the primer grabbing onto the brush too a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like the way it feels so far. It feels heavy, like I have a lot of product on my face. I don't like that. So, But I'm just going to, you know, give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll see if it's really important to put the primer on. And you guys can let me know what other primers or products you'd like me to try with this. I'm just not as oily as I used to be. But some of you guys might be oily and you might be struggling getting Saint to last, okay? So, there we go. I don't know. It just doesn't look as good as it normally does. Maybe the color is a little bit too dark. Um, I've lost a lot of color. So Saint Sandy might be a little bit dark for me. I might have to go down to um, June or Amber again. So let's keep moving on. I am now going to use um, one of my favorite products for under the eyes, and it would be the Saint Demi. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm gonna get my Demi brush. So this is the, um, I think this is the the bright brush okay and this is good for using with Demi um, under the eyes I like to use um, a little bit of the Y01 for any purple veins so I'm gonna get a little bit of that I'm just gonna go in and find any areas that might have a little bit of excess purple reddish violet red violet So I haven't done a video in quite a while because I've been getting ready for school. Um, if you don't know this already, I am an elementary school art teacher. And we have been in pre-planning this week, getting ready for students. So I haven't had a lot of time to think about Saint makeup recently. So during the summer is when I do a lot of videos and I really enjoy that time to share makeup with you guys. Um, I'm now going to switch over to O1, which is this color right here. This was Y01. You can see it's a lot more yellow, and this is O1. So let's switch over to that. And you're going to notice, got too much there. I don't know if it's the primer or what, but this makeup is just grabbing on a lot heavier than it normally does. It's like very sticky. Maybe with another foundation, the, the um, e.l.f. might work better. I don't ever like to say that something is not good because it may just be, you know, what other products I'm using with it. So, I know that the Milk Primer is so popular and that e.l.f. does a really good job of making similar items to more expensive formulas. It's just great to be able to have that, you know. So with the O1, I am switching between the small side and the large side. And it should just take a little bit to really see a difference and brighten up under the eyes. I don't know what's going on here. What is that underneath my, that must be a new spot or something that just popped up. 
that little spot right there. So Y01, if you have excess red violet underneath the eyes, if you have just some dark shadows, um, the O1 is good. If you have a skin tone similar to mine, I do have some more demi colors coming in the mail. So I want to, you know, acquire a lot of the collection to share with you because um, I know it's really hard to choose a demi color. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do at this point is powder because the shine right now is driving me absolutely bonkers or maybe I should go ahead and do contour I probably need to do the contour first so um, I'm gonna go back to I think Astoria I was using cedar which is one of our newest contour colors and it was really nice but I think I need to go down let's see where did I put my stuff To go to Astoria. Let me find it. Or I could use Olive as well. So here's Astoria. We're going to do that color because I really like that one. I'm going to switch over to my detail brush, which is going to be great for applying the contour. We're just going to take the edge of the brush and just kind of go from the ear towards the nose and keep it high rather than low. Now, very important, especially now that we're using the e.l.f. primer underneath the paint, you want to pat it as opposed to raking it because that e.l.f. primer doesn't want to budge. So it's not, it's going to drag your brush and skip. You just want to kind of pat and move it along in that direction. Let me know if you've tried the e.l.f. primer with the Saint or the Milk and tell me what your thoughts are. Maybe some suggestions. Okay, I really love this feature of the Saint makeup, the ability to contour, and chisel the face it really is a noticeable difference again I'm sorry for my son he's an eight-year-old boy um, just gets really loud when he's playing video games okay. so I'm gonna go up underneath here this is where you know a lot of us have that kind of jowl for me so I'm definitely gonna do powder after this <laughs> It does not feel as nice as it normally does with that elf primer. Maybe if you wear a liquid over the elf, it might be better. One of the things I love about Saint is it just feels so light on the skin. You don't feel like you have a lot on. And sometimes when we add too many products, it just takes away from that feel. All right, now let's go ahead and powder. Um, what I normally do is I take my brush, the big end, and I just pinch it, because the tin is very narrow. And then I just kind of pat it on. Okay. I pat it on over everything that I've done so far how that mops up that shine. Some of you guys might like the shine. Okay. Looks like I picked up a little bit of glitter. Really important that you don't put your face powder next to a glittery eyeshadow. Okay, so of course we're trying this out today and I thought another fun thing that we could do is um, try some pink blush lip and cheek colors today. I have a variety here. I'm going to put them into, let me see which palette I want to use. Let's put them into, one of my longer palettes. I think I have a shelf right here. 
I've got my silver tinsel palette. We're gonna go ahead and do one. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. Shit, my son is so silly. Oh, how many of you guys out there have an eight-year-old boy or just a son in general who acts silly online with his friends? All right, so um, these are the colors that we have. So let me go over which one is which. Okay, let me see here. I thought I could memorize which, okay. So um, this is baby watermelon. This one right here is a really pink matte formula. This one is pink grapefruit. This one is Hollywood, and a lot of us feel like it's close to NARS Orgasm, which has like a corally pink shimmer. This one is Petal. This one is Carousel. This one is Candy. And this one is Pinky Promise, which is very pretty. So we're gonna start with the lighter colors first. I'll put them on the lips and cheeks, okay? I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. Here we go. I actually forgot to do contour on my nose. I'm gonna do that really quick with the Astoria. I'm gonna take my detail brush. Just kind of get the end or the edge of that. You can see it on the brush. And I think I've gotten really good at this. I'm just gonna lay it right here on the edge of my nose and just kind of wiggle it. Okay, I can even go in with the smaller side of the brush and just kind of soften that a little bit, but we don't want to rub it away. We just want to give a nice little edge there. Let me see if I can perfect that a little bit. It has to be just so a line. All right, it provides a shadow right there. Let's do the other side. So with this side, I have to actually kind of hold my arm like this, kind of lean in and put it about right there. You can see that line. It's basically the number 11 that you've created. Let me kind of come over here and show you what I'm talking about. So you have this really thin area of white there. We just want to kind of pinch this brush and just kind of really make sure we get a nice diffused shadow. This might not be for you, you know, but I kind of like it. It kind of gives me a little bit more definition there. And then you could kind of take um, a lighter color. I'm going to take um, Athens. I already have in my palette here. I just kind of go right down the center of the nose. It's a lighter color than Sandy. And use Athens in the inner corner of the eye Touch of brightness, touch more brightness. I could go lighter than this. I could do linen or white peach. Those are good colors for brightening. I like to do it on the inner corner and the outer corner, and I like to use Demi more in this trough here. Okay, there we go. That looks really good. Now it's time to um, just gonna powder just a little bit more since I was doing my hair. Now it's time to try on these blushes. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, the color Suede. Suede is a lip liner that I like to use. Color Suede, this is our lip liner. I'm gonna take our lip brush. I'm gonna take the smaller side and I'm just gonna line to make them fuller right before we try our colors. So 
So again, we're trying out the primer, e.l.f. primer, underneath the same foundation to see if this is something that might work to hold the makeup on longer. I don't really have an issue with the makeup not lasting, but some of you guys might. So let's go ahead and try some pink today. I'm going to take my finger first and then we'll do some brushes. So let's start with the lightest color, which is the petal color here. Um, some of you guys really like a light pink, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, that is a really pretty milky pink color. We're going to pat that in. And now we're going to switch over to a brush. I've got my shape brush here. Let's try it with the brush. So if you are a pink person, you might want to know what these colors do or how they look. So, petal. Petal is for those of you that might have a tan established and you want that pretty light pink. On me, it just kind of looks a little bit like a clown, I think. Um, it really shows up, but it's not showing up in the way that I prefer. Let's try it on the lips. So, you know, just because a color doesn't work for you doesn't mean that it can't work for someone else. So this might be really pretty on someone with a darker skin tone, someone who's really tan. On me, what do you guys think? This is Petal. Go ahead and take a picture. next lightest color which is going to be um, carousel is very light this is carousel um, so let's try carousel so it's a gloss petal is a gloss kind of a satiny full coverage gloss and then carousel is a gloss so let's try that I'm gonna put on with my finger first see what happens you can see it barely shows up so let me find the shape brush. Let's see if it shows up with the brush. So in general, the gloss formulas are really pretty on both the cheeks and lips, but they don't really hold all day. So what I normally like to do is do a, um, a satin formula, which is the matte, and then I'll layer the gloss over the so I already like this better. Carousel is really pretty and sheer. Let's try it on with our finger on the lips. It's really pretty. Kind of like a uh, like a like a purpley violet pink. I, I really like that. That's pretty. So carousel, this is carousel. You lean in, it has that shine. Very light. I personally love color, I like a lot of color. So that's carousel, let's move on to the next color. All right, now we have candy, candy. We're gonna try candy next. I'm gonna put it on with my finger. All right, candy definitely shows up a little bit more color than carousel. I know it looks lighter in the tin, but it shows up more. Let's switch over to our brush. Kind of work that into the cheek area. And again, we're featuring our pinks today. Thought you would like to kind of see these color families. It's always fun picking out a new blush. Okay, so there's candy. I 
like this look a lot. Again, this is a, a, a gloss, but it's not really shiny gloss. It's just got, if you look here at the difference, so these are the, this is the satin formula. There's no shine at all. And the glosses have shine. You can see that, but they're not really like glassy shine. So you might want to do like a gloss over the top. Um, and I can do uh, Saint Balm is really pretty. It gives a shine, but even more so if you want like that glassy shine, you might want to do um, another gloss from another brand. But this is candy, very pretty. All right, next up is going to be Hollywood. Hollywood is a satin formula. Okay, so I'm gonna try that on the lips. And with the satin, you definitely wanna put a gloss on it. On the lips. So there's Hollywood. I'm just gonna go right to my brush. I know this is going to have a lot of pigment. This is Hollywood. Okay, next up, we're going to do um, pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit is a satin. really intense satin color. All right, pink grapefruit, everyone. Now we're gonna try baby watermelon. So if pink grapefruit was too bright, this is gonna be even brighter, okay? Baby watermelon. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream of But I like it. It's really pretty. I'll take the hit and still finish it. Now we're gonna do Pinky Promise, another pretty color. This is a gloss, I think. Yeah, it looks really bright, but because it's the gloss, it goes on much more sheer, and it's beautiful. This is Pinky Promise. This one's fun. I like it. Right now I have on Mama Eyeshadow, which is a matte eyeshadow by Saint. I have Lullaby in my crease. It's a very nice, neutral, everyday look. And then I have Sabrina in the inner corner. I have the Saint Black Cream Eyeliner in Black Friday. And then I have the Lilac Street um, Met Gala eyelashes on, um, and they're really fun and spiky. Um, on my eyebrows, I have Saint Demi Color in um, ND Plus One. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the 
maybe a little bit more bronzer to my look. Because we have such a light look going on, Let's try, um, let's try some heat waves, which is really fun. It's a really dark bronzer. I think this will be a nice um, addition. So I'm just gonna pinch my bronzing brush. This is the same brush that I use for uh, my powder. And I'm just gonna apply it back here in back of the brush. I probably have enough for both sides here. And we're just gonna Kind of blend this up and around like a C right in this area. And it really adds some pretty warmth. Now we also have Bella Bronzer, which is probably, you know, one of my faves. So the Heat Waves is just nice with the Pinky Promise because it's a warm bronzer where Bella is more kind of a neutral. I'm going to add some to my neck. And let's add just a little bit more of the suede lip liner in kind of like to add a touch of it to my eyeshadow so I'm just gonna take this and just on the middle of the lid kind of right here just a little touch of that that pinky promise kind of unify the entire look and you can do that with your, um, your blushes anytime okay so there's the final look really cute we have really beautiful pinks we have satin we have gloss um, and I think our next video we might focus on the neutral colors or the earth tones I have some um, neutral colors coming in the mail all right, and today my hair, I used um, the Bedhead uh, Deep Waver. Gives a nice little fun look today. And that is all. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And bear with me. Again, I am um, working on school, elementary school art, getting my classroom ready. So I will be trying on the weekends to post and upload new videos. Okay, let's put a little bit of gloss on top of what we have. I have some Physicians Formula. This is a lip plumping gloss. This is Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper in Pink Radiant Cut. Let's see what this does for the look. Just adds a really pretty shine. Now they do offer a clear. So if you noticed, this just kind of intensified the pink on the lips a little bit more than I wanted to. I kind of like the milky pink on the lips. But anyways, just adds that really pretty gloss, okay? Loving the Lashes by Lilac Street. All right, hello everyone, it's Julie back again. I just wanted to check in with you. It is now six o'clock in the evening. I just wanted to show you the makeup. Now, it doesn't look so bad. Um, I was in the car in natural lighting, and to me, it did appear very shiny. So again, just a reminder that this morning we used um, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunblock at um, SPF 60, and then we used um, the Power Grip Primer. So the sunblock already has a moisturizer in it, so this I put on about 15 minutes after applying the sunscreen. And then I also waited for this to dry 15 minutes. Now, I will tell you that this still feels very sticky. I personally do not like the feel of it on my face. It feels heavier than normal when I just use Saint alone. Um, I did actually go by Ulta today and pick up my usual um, sunscreen, which is the Exuviance BB Skin Caring Sunscreen with SPF 50. It goes on so nicely. It has just a light tint. It evens out the skin tone. 
and it it doesn't dry to a matte finish, but it's not a sticky finish. It has a nice supple feel and it goes on really great under the underneath the makeup. So I am a fan of e.l.f. products, but for me, I think this is just too moisturizing, um, too sticky. I even waited 15 minutes for it to dry. It only recommends 30 seconds. So maybe this is more for someone that has a drier complexion that likes the radiance. Now I will say that it has done a really good job of keeping the makeup on the face. I still have, you know, a medium to full coverage here. So has done a good job of holding the makeup on. I am just not a fan of uh, this sunscreen for underneath makeup, but I, I do plan on using it at the beach. Like when I need to go um, to the beach or outdoors and I'm not planning on wearing a lot of makeup, then this will be a good formula to use. But it is a moisturizing formula. So if you want something that is moisturizing and sunscreen in one step and as a serum as well, it has vitamin E in it, then this might be an option for you. But for someone who does not like a, a lot of shine on the face, I really don't like shine here, here, and here. I like shine on the tops of my cheeks and on the nose, that's all. So uh, there is going to be someone who will love this product, but for me, it's not um, It's not going to help with the shine. Um, it's gonna help with dry, with moisturizing dry skin. So um, going forward, I'm going to use my Exuviance sunscreen um, and I'm going to not use a primer. I do not like using a primer under Saint. I don't think you need it. It's just gonna give you more of that heavy feel. Saint makeup does not need primer, ladies. It goes on really great without the primer. Um, in all my other videos prior to this one, you will notice that my skin does not look greasy. You do not see texture, and that is because of uh, not using a primer, just using the bare minimum of makeup and sunscreen, getting my moisturizer in my Exuviant sunscreen, and that's it. Okay, so please let me know if you have any questions. I am a huge fan of Neutrogena and I'm a huge fan of e.l.f., so I don't wanna deter you from trying these products if you are someone that has dry skin, okay? You might really love them. All right, so anyways, with that said, I will see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. I love having you here. Bye-bye.